where he accounts for Ghost Red Guitar. So what's contained in those power chords is a root, a fifth, the fifth note of the major scale, and the root again. I like a three note power chord. like that. You can either bar those two notes or you can use your first and second finger. The distance between E to F is a half step. The distance between F and G is a whole step. Skip that fret. G to A is a whole step. A to B is a whole step. B to C is a half step, so just shift that shape up one fret. C to D is a whole step. D to E is our whole step. Practice them going up the neck and back down the neck. on our fifth string. Our fifth string is our open A. There's the power chord. Again, use your preferred shape. Use the bar or use your first and second finger, whichever is more comfortable. A is there. A to B is a whole step, so skip that first fret note. Go to your second fret. There's your B power chord. Your next power chord is the C. C to D is a whole step. D to E is a whole step. E to F is a half step. F to G, a whole step. G to A is a whole step. to add is regarding your fifth string power chords. We need to block that sixth string from being heard because when we're performing, it's very easy to do that by accident. And it doesn't sound really pretty. So go ahead and use your first finger to block that sixth string. Just touch it. Don't play the note. And you have a nice block. I'm playing it down here. I'm playing the string with my right hand, but it's inaudible. So there you have it. And where it counts for Ghost Shred Guitar. <laughs>